Okay, hat for a horse in the number three in the series here is, excuse me, uh, I don't believe I actually used the word in the, in the second video, but you're just plucking these notes together, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a motion like this with your finger. Your thumb is coming down, this is pulling up on the note, and everything's on a beat. One, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So, but now we can play it in a one and two. And that would be just starting off easy again. Just plant your middle finger down here on string two. N nothing, you're not gonna leave that, just gonna stay on string two. But now you can hit the bass note, make this G again right here. None of this changes from the other two videos. We're using the exact same structure. And that's the purpose to, to, to gain familiarity and to gain control of that and then to just keep pushing the boundary a little further. So you want to go one and, see, bass note, string six, fret three, the G note, and then down here on string two, that B note against it. And do it against the D bass as well. One and two and three and four and switch chords. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. So you're just picking up the, the tempo a little. So start off slow and then build up speed once you start getting that under your, under your fingers. Uh, and then finally, see, so you, that, that, all that was the individual things that I showed you just put them together and you come up with a, a sound like that. So the, the first song that I ever did, I, I realized it was this. It's just this. Talked about this. So it goes like that, but you, you can just fill that out with those two little things that I just showed you and it becomes So that all starts from this, and that starts from watching the game and doing this. Just do that, get that down, and then you just start adding the other little flourishes that you put. But make no mistake about it, the song is structured on a, you know, four, four, one, two, three, four. You can't leave that or it'll sound a mess. And this is the basis. This is what keeps you in. This is your drummer, this is your band leader. This is, you know, it has to be steady and anything else that you play off your fingers, those flourishes that make it sound full and nice, just realize they're just little lines that you're adding to that bass that make it sound nice. And uh, it'll, it'll sound really nice as long as you're on the beat. And so that's why you go to the first exercise. Make sure you get that down. Just between two chords, the A and the C slash, or excuse me, the G and the C slash G chords just take liberties all you want but you know I, I, just, I can't play without my foot tapping and you, you should be tapping your foot that's good enough for Tommy Emanuel it should be good enough for any guitarist in the world and just you know do that get it under control so that you really have it under control and then you start moving on with adding the stuff up here okay